Ah, greetings there, my friend. Welcome to the fire. Sometimes an idea may sound really, really good in your head, but in actuality is a really bad idea. Like in this following story. The Mind Flayers are coming. R slash Game Tales, posted by Moses underscore the underscore wise. So this was a D&D 5th edition game happened about two years ago. So, the party is trying to save a Civ Niblin town in the Underdark besieged by gun-wielding kobolds. The kobolds kidnap the town's world-renowned gunsmith and have been using him to make guns for themselves. The town has now been cut off from the other Sniv Niblin towns in the area for months. Morale is super low, food is running short, etc. On their way there, the party encounters a wandering group of Mind Flayer researchers, random encounter, and defeat them, but don't kill them. This will be important later. The party arrives at town, and after talking to the mayor, head out to find more about the kobolds. After some shenanigans with a kobold disguise, deception rolls, and decent stealth, the disguise wizard is led to the leader of the kobolds as a new member. Wizard walks right into a trap with friends behind and is attacked by a black dragon. Dragon's turn uses frightful presence and everyone but the wizard fails, all frightened. The wizard ironically panics and teleports away with the rogue. The rest of the party be a hasty retreat back to town, ready for the dragon to follow them. They return to town and muster the troops, getting them ready for the dragon. The townsfolk are weary and upset, but steal their nerves and prepare for the dragon. Meanwhile, the gnome alchemist had a great idea. He asked the wizard to cast sending to the mind flayers they fought the other day to ask them for help. So the wizard practices what he'll say in undercommon with their sniv nibbling friend and speaks to the mind flayers. The conversation goes something like this. Wizard, hey, we're about to be attacked by a dragon. Could you help us out? Mind flayers. Interesting. We'll make note of that. The wizard, without missing a beat, tells me what he wants to do next. Wizard, I yell, the Mind Flayers are coming! I, the DM, ask him three times if he was serious. He answers, yes, three times with a grin. And so, like the shittiest Paul Revere, he makes the announcement to the town. He tells the Sniv Niblin who live their whole lives in fear of Mind Flayers, the Mind Flayers are coming. He tells the Sniv Niblin who are already weary from being cut off from their fellows and nearly starving from trying to survive a cobalt siege, the Mind Flayers are coming. He tells the Sniv Niblin already terrified from having to face a goddamn dragon, that the Mind Flayers are coming. They cut and ran. After all of this, it was mom mentality and self-preservation, they ran out of town into the bullets of the kobolds. The party desperately try to run damage control and save as many people as they can. All while, the wizard looks on in horror at the effect of their admittedly foolish outburst. The dragon never bothered to show up. The party had already done his work for him. Once they got the few survivors to safety, the session ended and three fourth players privately messaged me saying their character wanted to leave in the middle of the night and so the campaign ended. The next morning, the poor sweetheart fighter with eight intelligence woke up after accidentally slaughtering a town to find that all his friends had abandoned him. And to this day, there are some who say that abandoned fighter is still waiting for his friends. Yeah, sometimes let the rest of the party in on your plans because it could go south really quick. Also, it's a shame that the rest of the players decided to ditch that campaign. 
while it may have gotten a bit more difficult, there still could have been some interesting story potential. What do you think? Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And would you kindly follow the socials posted in the description below. As always, be good, be great, be awesome.